Yo, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I have a um, playlist with solutions to all the hacker and can leak code slot uh, problems on my uh, channel and the description has everything else. I'm doing all the Java problems on hacker rank. They have a section for strictly Java problems. And I just had an interview with a company in Silicon Valley. And because of these problems, I aced it. Like it was perfect. And I think it's because of the problem. Like I would have never been able to do that without doing these problems. So it's just proving to me interview after interview that doing these is how you get a job. So you just have to do all these uh, Java anagrams, not Java specifically, but just like, you know, lead code and Java, hacker rank. Uh, Java, algorithms are what helps the most. Java anagrams. And also, you know, by the way, re rewarding myself with some homemade Chinese food. Mmm. Very good. Um, sure you love to see this. So Java anagrams is a question we're doing. Two strings A and B are called anagrams if they contain the same characters and the same frequencies. For example, anagrams of cat or you know cat, act, tac, tca, atc, cta, right? Um, and act and atc. Okay. Um, because there's what it's the same. Yeah, they have to have the same characters, same length. Same frequency of characters, meaning the character occurs the same amount of times in the original string as any of the anagrams, right? So you're just rearranging the characters in pretty much every way possible. So complete the function in the editor. If A and B are case insensitive, meaning, you know, we're given an example down here, hello and hello, those are anagrams of each other because they're the same characters, same frequency, right? We don't care. We're not going to care about case. Um, so case insensitive, we're going to print anagrams, otherwise not anagrams. So we're just given two strings and we want to check if they're anagrams. So is anagram is the function. And then there's this main method. We're just returning a Boolean, true or false, if it is an anagram, if they're anagrams of each other. Um, this does the printing down below. The main method already has it. So we're just going to return the Boolean that we need to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the lengths of these strings, right? Uh, so we're going to do a length is equal to a dot length, right? Uh, and then we're going to do b length is equal to b dot length. And why do we do this? Because we can just, just immediately, this will eliminate a lot of cases where the strings are a different length, you know, might as well. Instead of going through all this other, you know, brute force work or whatever, we're going to just return false, right? So if they're not equal, return false. Now we're going to begin. So first thing I want to do is just convert them to lowercase. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. Um, you could do the loop through later and you could make the characters lowercase and stuff like that. But I'm just going to um, convert the whole strings to lowercase right here. And then you need, what are we going to do? We're going to have char arrays. So here's the cheat code. There's two ways to do this problem. And I'm going to show you the cheat code that they do. And I think that this isn't the good way and they're going to want to see the other way I'm going to show you. So this is the cheat code. Uh, HRs, we're going to do HRs is equal to a dot two char array, right? So now we have a character array. Um, and then we're going to have a B chars is equal to B char two char array. So now we have character arrays, meaning every sh string. So if we're given cat, we're going to have an array of C, A, T. And then if we got A, C, T, we're going to have an array where each element is A, then C, then T, each character is an element, right? Now you can use this arrays class and just sort them, right? So they're the same length, same character, same frequencies, if they're anagrams, right? So if we sort them, they'll be exactly the same. So we're just going to sort these arrays, right? So this is the cheat code way to do it. I mean, it's it's smart, I guess. You could mention this in an interview, but they're going to want to see you do it the other way, obviously. But um, So you sort them, and then they should be exactly the same. So all you have to do is if a chars, um, you could probably get string.value of and compare the strings. Convert them back to strings. I don't know if we can. Yeah, let's let's convert them back to strings. So, can you just do dot equals? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna convert them back to strings. I don't know if this is off the top of my head. If we can do this, uh, return true, uh, else return false. So let's see if you can do this. Off. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we'll convert it back to a string if you can't do this. No. Nope. 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 You can't. Mm hmm. Um, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So what we'll do, we'll just convert them back to a string. Uh, we'll do, you know, a equals a chars to two sh string dot value of a chars. Um, what are the imports here? Can we import something else? 
How do they how do they do this if it says that you can't see array? Yeah, it says import java.util. Okay, I was looking at this. Okay, what? Hold on. This is literally what they're doing, but it's saying that uh we have to use this. Okay, so let me see. I don't think this will allow you to do it though. I mean, we'll see. No. So, what they wanted to do is just um, get char arrays of these strings and then use the arrays built-in sorting method and check for equality, but it's not even letting us import uh, arrays, so we're not going to do this. This is stupid. I was saying this method's stupid, and they wouldn't want to see this in an interview anyway, so... Um, I'm going to show you guys the actual way to do this. Sorry for wasting your time in the beginning there. There's only a minute. At least you understand the problem now. Um, so you still check for length. Um, like I said, they have to have the same length. And now here's here's the thing that you're going to want to know, right? You're going to want to get char frequencies. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to have char frequencies equals new int of, you know, whatever, a length. Doesn't matter. No, no, no. Sorry, 26. For every letter of the alphabet, right? So for every letter of the alphabet, we're going to have an int array, right? And there, it's going to be initialized to zero. So there's 26 zeros in an array, right? Now we're going to loop through the first string. So i equals zero, i less than a length, i plus plus. Um, and then we're going to do char frequencies of, and then, well, first of all, we have to get the character. Uh, so we're going to do char, uh, current char. And then I'll explain this in a minute. Equals, you know, a dot, a dot char at you know, I. So we have the current character, we're looping through A, we get the current character, and now we want the index. So we're going to do index is equal to um, current char minus A, right? So minus A. So this is going to give us the index because subtraction between characters automatically converts to an ASCII number, and the ASCII number is going to be associated with the position in the char frequencies array. We've done this in a ton of Leco problems. I would check those out. Um, this is how you do anagram problems usually because you want char frequencies or anything with char frequencies. You make an alphabet, a, an int array of size alphabet, and then that holds the count for each letter, right? So the number of times that we see each letter. So we get the index. So for A, the index uh, would be zero, right? It's the first element of the alphabet, uh, first letter of the alphabet. So we, if we saw an A it, at a current character, we'd go, we'd find that spot in the index, we'd increment the count. So we count the number of A's. So now when we finish looping through the A string, we have incremented our char frequencies. The char frequencies of each letter in the A string is now incremented. So everything's a zero that isn't an A and all of the elements that are an A, we have the counts of those in this char frequencies. So now what we want to do is we're going to loop through um, B length, right? B length, I plus plus, and then we're going to do uh, you know, it's, it's literally the same crap, right? Might as well do this. Um, except obviously B dot char at I. Now the current char of B, we're going to decrement those counts, right? So if we go through and we increment the frequencies of A and decrement the frequencies of B, if they're exactly the same frequencies for each character, it should increment and then decrement right back to zero. So after this, Every element should be zero if they were exactly if they're anagrams of each other. So all we have to do is loop from i to 26, i plus plus, and then do if char frequencies of i is not equal to zero. I think they changed the problem a little bit. Um, then return false, um, and then if you make it through the whole thing, you can return true, right? Because they're anagrams of each other because we didn't see a zero in the char frequencies. Hopefully you guys understand that. Remember this 26 method. For anything to do with char frequencies, make an alphabet array and use that. It's always better than like a hash map or something like that. Um, so this is my solution. This is the first one I came up with. I was going to show you guys the sorting solution. So sorry about that. That I messed up. But the problem is they must have changed the problem because look, it says up here that they want you to print things, but they already have built in prints. You can't import things and they're throwing array errors at me. So that's the problem here. Hopefully this works. Let's see what happens. What's the issue? Let's run this. We had two failed test cases. So why? Hello, hello. Oh, the cases. Sorry. So you also want to make sure you have the case because it's case insensitive. So we're just going to do um, 
a equals a dot two lowercase. You could do this at the character level, or you could do this at the uh, just the top with the whole string. So that's it. And then once we do this, it should work. Uh, I could show you the character level too. This is a long video. Sorry about that. Um, but you know, really, anagrams are important, so you do want to understand these. So convert them all to lowercase so that we don't care about the you know whatever. Um, and you have to make sure it's lowercase too because unless you want to subtract a capital A, but it's all about ASCII values. I, remember, I recommend looking up ASCII values. Uh, otherwise you could do, you know, it, it would be the, you know, character dot two lowercase of current char, right? That would get the lowercase version. So if you wanted to put this here and then delete uh, this stuff, that's how you do it. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for taking up all your time. Um, make sure that you pay attention to the editorials because sometimes the solutions they give you don't even work. So, all right, guys, see you next time. Check out the next video, and thanks for watching.